our first big bout. The referee for the opening event, Sparky! Hello again, everybody. Hank Renner Jr. along with Dragon Dave, and we're here at the Newark Pavilion, the mecca, if you will, of professional wrestling. Big time wrestling starts off with young Dustin Ardeen all the way from Reno, Nevada. In the ring there is Sparky. We've got Alan Bolte. What a double main event tonight. On top, Jason Styles versus the Honky Talk Man. We've got Le Emperor, your man, versus Oliver John. What a double main event we've got. What a card. All the way from Reno, Nevada, Dragon Dave. I understand that you uh, you spent some time up there. I spent a lot of time in Reno. It's like a second home to you, but I must I, I must make a correction here. The, uh, Alan Bolte introduced uh, Dustin Ardine from uh, Reno, Nevada, and I, I gotta I gotta you know set it straight. He's not from Reno, Nevada. He's from a little town called IDC. IDC. Where where's where that? Is that off 50? Yes, it's called I Don't Care. Oh, now stop. Now it. Already tonight, folks. Already here he is, Mother Truck and Otis. <laughs> we'll go to Alan Bolte for the announcement, but that, with that music, uh, he doesn't need any introduction. And look at that, <laughs> he's drinking some beer from the fans. Maybe a little shot there. Who knows what's in that flask? First of all, I don't want to know. Okay, here comes your family members out to uh, greet the Mother Truck and Otis. Fans, as always, the fans are, look at this, North Jack Otis. The fans are really, really enthusiastic here. Brunhilde, oh, did you see that, Dragon Dave? I, I told you. I, you know, now you know where the food's missing. <laughs> we're, all, we're all in a good mood here tonight, folks. What, you know, Honky Talk Man's in town. Everybody loves singing. Everybody loves dancing. Jason Stiles, no stranger to singing and dancing, but he's got his hands full with that belt tonight. Yes, and now, you know what? Uh, we haven't seen uh, Mother Truck and Otis in quite a while. You know, you know, I was starting to miss him. You were starting to miss him. I know I'm getting set up for something. With every bullet so far. <laughs> every bullet so far. Oh, uh, well, folks, the marquee outside says wrestling, and this is big time wrestling celebrating many, many years as a franchise and specifically under the auspices of one Kirk White. This is the 13th year and we're very proud of that. And this is also, how many years now have you and I been together, Dragon Dave? About five or six? In your dreams. Well, as a broadcast. Here we go, Bell's, Bell's gone. A nice handshake, this one underway now. And I can, you can hear in the background there, your, your nephew there, uh, uh, you know. Little Sebastian, no, he's, uh, he's at home tonight. Well, somebody's, uh, you know, drowning out the audience here at Newark. As always, a lovely audience here in Newark. What in the hell is going on here? First of all, it's... <laughs> Dragon down. Folks, I wouldn't trust him. I don't know what he's going to say. Here we go. Nice lockup. And down goes uh, the loss of the test of strength is uh, Dustin Ardeen here. Now, Dragon Dave, Dustin Ardeen has spent most of his time up in the uh, Reno and actually Vegas areas wrestling. We've seen him in one of the future show for BTW and this is his first appearance in a Newark show. Oh, and he gets launched again by, by Otis. I think uh, that tact had better change. Yes, and I'm starting to notice uh, uh, Dustin Ardeen's uh, uh, tights there. Uh, looks, like, uh, looks like he left his old job as a painter to come to uh, wrestle here. Oh, brother, folks, I, I knew I knew we were getting set up somewhere. Now, that looks like to be a sound strategy, working on those big tree trunk-like legs of Otis. You've got to get him on the mat if you're going to have an effective offense against Mother Truck and Otis. Yes. Yes, and it's, and it's good to see that uh, Dustin Ardeen, is, his business is thriving as a, as a painter. Uh, you know, I saw him paint a couple of houses, uh, you know, a couple of days ago, and, you know. How, how much do you think he'd, he'd charge for an apartment? Two coats, though. Well, you know, I wouldn't pay more than 50 bucks. Will you stop, Dragon Dave? He, he's a professional wrestler. Will you stop with the painting references? Uh-oh. I don't think that worked. That definitely is not going to work in the boiler of Otis. Man, oh, man. We've seen a lot of guys. Oh, Justin Ardeen out of breath. Got the wind knocked out of him. Out he goes over 
through the middle ropes and out onto that, that hardwood floor of the Newark Pavilion. And man, that has been the grave of many, many wrestling aspiration and hopes. It's ended a lot of careers, that hardwood floor. Now look at this, Dustin Ardeen has a good tack by hanging Otis up in there and continuing his attack on the legs. Oh, where's he going? High rent district. Wow, he's way up high. Look at that with a knee drop right in there on Otis. That was actually a very, very intelligent thing to do. Yes, and as a matter of fact, that shows the experience of Mother Truck and Otis. He should have just stayed in the ring and wait for uh, Dustin Ardeen to come to him, but he said he had to go out there and uh, this is what happened, it cost him. That absolutely did, you know, that's a very good point. In, in professional wrestling, a, a lot of times less is more when you when you have your man outside, maybe it is the best thing to stay in there and get the count out. I, I don't think Dustin Ardeen's gonna be able to launch old Otis and he reverses the whip. Dustin Ardeen tries for a high cross body, Otis catches him in midair here. Oh boy. This doesn't look good for Dustin right here. I think it's the end. Well, he dropped him like a sack of potatoes. Otis taking a lot of time, though. I don't like to see that. I would like to see Otis try and cover his man when you put a big move on him. Well, right here, Mother Truck and Otis uh, has Dustin right where he wants him. And, uh, you know, just a matter of time before he finishes him off. Well, Otis, we know, has that big splash. And I haven't seen uh, very many individuals kick out of that one. As a matter of fact, I can't recall if any of them kicked out of that one. As a matter of fact, uh, Mother Truck and Otis, I know for a fact, uh, right here, I think this is it, right here, the finisher. Put him to bed, right here, it's done. Oh, big side slam, reminiscent of several French Canadian and French wrestlers we know. Now Otis won that three count, but Dustin Ardeen, I don't know how he kicked out of that. I mean, that he had the wind knocked out of him. Oh, and he goes for the boiler again. I, I don't know if that's a good strategy. Oh, and right into that steel post. I know for a fact, that Mother Truck and Otis wants to finish off Dustin Ardeen right now because he heard there's a pizza party in the back and he wants to make it, you know, he wants to hurry back there before the pizza's gone. Well, he better if Brunhilde's there. Oh my God, I, you know, I think she got out of the house tonight. Well, they did some work on the doorway so she could come and go. Oh, so that explains the forklift in the back. <laughs> well, no, that's for the workers, but, you know, the workmen, but, uh, oh man, high risk maneuver here. Holy smokes, right off the top. One, two, this could be it. Oh. Dustin Ardeen came off with a high cross body to reverse that back suplex. That was a very, very good move on his part. I was nearly distracted by Dragon Dave and the pizza stories. And here we go, now he launches Otis in. Mexican drop kick right to the boiler. Very good attack by Dustin Ardeen. You know, this Ardeen is showing me a lot tonight. I think he has a very good game plan. Well, he's showing me a lot. Well, he just showed me a lot right there. He's showing me a lot, trust me. I don't want to see it. Leg drop now, right in the, right near the center of the ring anyway. I, I don't think Otis is in rope range here. Yeah, he's got to kick out of that. Folks, uh, we might see a big upset here. I hadn't picked Ardeen as, uh, here he goes, up to the high risk maneuver area. He hits him with this, it's over. I think the only thing that's keeping Mother Truck and Otis uh, alive right now is the fact that the, the, the fans are just cheering for him. It's that adrenaline that's keeping Otis uh, from uh, having his shoulders counted down. Absolutely, and fans watching at home, come out to the matches, come out to the Newark Pavilion, cheer and boo as you please. Of course, these wrestlers are out here giving their all for you, and they love to hear what you have to say. Yes. I don't like to hear what you have to say, Dragon Dave. I'm talking, of course, about our audience at home. Unfortunately, I have no choice, because uh, Kirk White uh, pays me very well. Well, now, we have to talk about that, because Kirk has a few bills. Oh, what a chop. Kirk's been experiencing quite a few bills, especially the hotel room and all that room service. We, we don't need to talk about that. We don't need to talk about that. Well, I've got an expense report here. If you'd like, if you'd like, we can see it here. I have it right here. Let me see, page three. Oh, here's Otis now. Uh, what were you saying, Dragon? Yes, Otis, great wrestler right here. Uh, getting ready to dust off uh, Dustin. How's that? Gonna be dusting off Dustin with a beautiful underhook suplex. Well, that could be it, folks. Yeah, all he's got to do is cover him. I think that's, yeah, that's all she wrote. Uh-oh. Oh, when you see that, you know what's coming. The coup de grace. Here he goes in. If he hits it, this is it. Oh, right in the center of the ring. One, two, three. Good night, Dustin. There it is. Right there, Otis picks up the win. Mother Truck and Otis getting the Duke here in the Newark Pavilion to open a great, great card.
Well, that's another win for uh, Otis, you know, and uh, this should uh, put him in um, prime position to uh, for a future title shot, you know. Um, well, what can I say? Oh, there's your nephew there, uh, Junior. Not my nephew. He's at least a foot taller. Yes, but I can. I see with the resemblance. Well, thank you very much, Greg and Dave, and resembling something you talked about title shots on the line tonight. The Honky Tonk Man challenges Jason Styles for that coveted world title. Oliver John accepts the challenge of France's most cunning athlete, Lamper. I have to talk to you about that because we want to know the whereabouts of Hop Sing Lee. We have a return match, folks. This is for the Cruiserweight title tonight. Shannon Ballard, Cruiserweight champion versus Kimo Canaloa. Could this be Kimo's night tonight? I've hoped, I've prayed, and I've prayed along with you. We've got Shane Ballard, the good Ballard, if there is such a thing, Chico Navarro taking on two newcomers to BTW. You saw them at the Future Show. Dave Dutra, Mike Rain. We've got the girls match coming up with the lovely Davina Rose against, well, Christina Von Erie. I, I can't say if Von Erie is lovely. She is a, a cute girl, but what she's done to herself with those tattoos and what she's done to Davina Rose in the Future Show, I'm not happy with either. Yes, and that's why this uh, match, uh, I'm, I'm going to pay close attention to it because, uh, you know, there's a lot of... Uh, You're going to pay close attention because you've been staring at Davina Rose for all these years. Well, I mean, do you blame me? No, I, I don't, but I'm married, so I just have to toe the line. But speaking of walking the line and towing the line, Mother Truck and Otis with the Duke to open up a fantastic card. Styles Honky Tonk on top, Oliver John Emperor coming up. 